They're so like, mm, with their butts like, stop, stop, it's too much. It's Kimberly. For those of y'all that don't know me, I make videos on my travels. So if that is something you're interested in, then please hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so that way you'll get notified every week when my new video comes out. This week, I will be talking about my experience with nightlife and clubbing in the U.S. versus in Germany because there are some pretty significant differences. <laughs> First off, like always, I want to give a disclaimer that my experience, I'm from Texas, so this is about my experience in Texas with clubbing. Also, my experience in Germany, a lot of it has been in Berlin, which yes, I know it has a very significant techno culture in Berlin. It's not like the rest of Germany, but I've also been clubbing and experienced nightlife in Munich and Hamburg. So this is kind of what I've generally noticed. Obviously, it's impossible to know everything about all the clubs everywhere, so I'm speaking in generalizations. So, no, I'm gonna get comments like, well, it's not like this here, it's not like that there. I can't speak for everybody's experiences, but I can speak for my own, so this is my own experience. If it wasn't your experience, that's cool. Take it with a grain of salt. Let's start with the attire. I have a very unique experience because I am Texan and so it depends on what kind of night you want to have. For example, I went to university at a pretty southern styled school. So it's really common to go out in your cowboy boots and cowgirl boots. It just, it is. So if you want to dress up, you can dress up like that or you can wear typical clubbing attire, I guess, you know, more scandalous, scandy, yeah. But if I was going out in Texas, honestly, <laughs> I would be wearing some shorts, my boots, and probably a flannel button up, so it's a lot different. Versus clubbing in Germany, it's more about just wearing all black. Also, for the girls, a lot of girls will wear tennis shoes when they go out in Germany versus in the US. It's more like if you're not wearing your cowgirl boots and you're going actual like to real hip hop -y clubs, then a lot of girls will wear heels. So it's not as common to wear tennis shoes as it is here in Germany. But y'all, I dig the tennis shoe to clubs thing. Like I'm all for it. Wearing sneakers to the club is the best thing ever. Um, and yeah, guys in the USA or guys in Texas when they go out, honestly, it's kind of weird, but they wear like, you know, the belt buckles and the, the boots and the jeans and the button up but if you're not into that style which there are a lot of guys that aren't usually they'll wear some type of nice shoe sneaker with jeans and a button up so that's what guys wear versus here I think it's just so different and mixed but I think in general Germans wear black to go to the club and the USA doesn't really necessarily have a specific color scheme all right, now for drinks. Um, Germans obviously drink a lot of beer when they go clubbing. Americans drink a lot of shots. A lot of shots. And it's really common to go into a club and not see really people holding anything because they're just taking shots. Versus in Germany, it's more you hold, always have a drink with you. You're drinking beer. Um... I've honestly never really seen Germans, like the people that I've gone out with in Germany don't really take shots. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all though, sometimes I just wanna take shots and get it over with. Like I just wanna feel the feeling and then have fun with my night and not be drinking beer or holding beer. But yeah, that's a difference is I think that Americans have more shots and Germans have more beer. But obviously you see Americans drinking beer, whatever, Germans probably wouldn't even consider it beer. And Germans also, um, I mean Germans would take shots too, but it's just more frequently consumed in the US than in Germany. Beer in Germany is more frequently consumed, I would say, than in the US. Now, for music, 
people are gonna say that's just a Berliner Berliner thing but it's not like yes it is a huge Berliner thing but in general there's a lot more techno in Germany than in the USA I don't really hear it that I have never been to a techno club in the USA we play a lot of hip-hop music we play a lot of um uh, pop music you got a lot of rap or if you're like me and you're a texan person then there's a lot of country music in the mix of it because yes we do like our country and i'm not saying that you don't have that music in germany because you do have that music in germany and you do have it in certain clubs too but there is a lot more techno clubs and techno really is the big hype here in germany versus in america 24 hours later all right now for dancing i think that in america we're a lot more about twerk twerk and pop it like it's hot and pop it like it's hot drop it like it's hot and all more about the booty action versus in germany it's like i've noticed this honestly around europe is that it's more hand based it's more like boom 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 boom, boom, boom. which i kind of prefer better actually because it's not as raunchy in that regard but sometimes it's fun to drop it down but like it's fun to like do the boom 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 thing and nobody's worrying about if you can't shake your butt or anything so i like it it's fun but that is a different i would say even the guys in america like they're so like mm, with their butts like stop stop it's too much also something i want to talk about is the interaction between men and women because i think this is really important and that is here in europe i think european men in general are more shy than american men so i'm never really that concerned if i'm gonna get groped at a club even though i know it happens in america it's like a constant concern i have like is a guy about to grab me is he about to touch me i kid you not y'all this one time i had a classmate grope me and he literally lied to everybody around me because i was like did you just grab my butt and he was like no and i was like yes you did i literally saw you and everybody else was like yeah we believe her bro over you and i was so disturbed by it i told him to never talk to me again and he had the audacity to message me on group me a few days later and be like so do we have a test in class? And I messaged this boy back and I said, you are a disgusting pig. Please don't talk to me ever again. Goodbye. Or else I will embarrass you in front of the whole entire classroom. He didn't message me again. He didn't even show up to class that next week. So I think it's a lot more respectful in Germany at the clubs. Also, this is kind of random that I should have said with the drinking situation is that maybe it's because I don't have enough German friends to go clubbing with, but I've noticed that we do a lot more pre-gaming in the USA and I think there's two reasons for that. Alcohol is more expensive at clubs in the USA and the second thing is that the drinking age, so a lot of people if they're under 21, kids. If they're under 21, they will go to a person's house and they will pre-game and drink before they go to the club because if you're under 21, you're not supposed to be drinking. I didn't mention this too. I'm not sure what it is like in Germany, but in the USA, um, you have to be 18 to get into clubs. There are a lot of clubs that are only 21 and over, but you can get into clubs when you're 18, but you're not allowed to drink time for the closing time and I mentioned this in my culture shock video and a lot of people were like I first off I don't think a lot of people actually listened to what I said because I said it closes at 2 in the USA and people were like they don't close at 2 and I was like but they do in the USA but I think people thought I meant Germany but most clubs in the USA close at 2 a.m. and people were like well it's probably not like that in Los Angeles or New York Guys, the USA is not Los Angeles and New York. This is literally this much of this much of the USA. And it's like saying Berlin is like Germany, Munich is like Germany. Every time those comments get thrown, it's like people get so defensive about it. But it's the same thing with the USA. New York, 
California, Texas, Florida, they're not the USA. Like, they are part of it, but they're not the whole big picture. So, in general, I would say 80 to 90 percent of clubs in the USA close at 2 a.m. And this is not the case in Germany. They can close at 5 a.m. If you're in Berlin, they can close at 2 p.m. the next day. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. There's a lot, it's a lot different with the closing time. And it kind of sucks because in the USA, you, for me at least, it's like I feel like I just started my party at 2 a.m. and then I already have to go to bed. So I feel like I missed out on a lot of points and topics about this, but that is all I can think about. I hope you guys enjoyed this random video, but it is a topic that I kind of wanted to talk about because I love nightlife and I think nightlife says a lot about a culture and experiencing that can be a lot of fun. So if you guys like that video, make sure to like, comment below if you agree with this, if you disagree with it, what your thoughts and opinions are. I would love to comment back. I love you guys so much. Ciao, juice. Bye.